Welcome to this training video for the IPAI Student Portal. Today we're going to cover how to pay for a course and register and how to add a course to your wish list. Let's start with the wish list. Right now we are in the course catalog and we have our trusty friend Bodie McBoatface here as our test student. If we scroll down through the course catalog, ah, we can see assessment of oil and coal. Now, Bodie would like to register for this course, but unfortunately, the time it's being offered in 2020, he'll be out of town on vacation. Very, very sad. However, Bodie is interested in taking this course at some point in the future, perhaps 2021. So, in order to save the course to his wish list for future consideration, Bodhi can come over here, click on these three dots, and hit Add to Wish List. So this box pops up, has the user, Bodhi McBoatface, the offering, which is assessment of oil and coal, and you can type a comment in there, something like, want to take this with three exclamation points. Bodhi's very excited about taking this course at some point in the future. And hit submit. The course will now appear on Bodhi's wish list. So let's actually register for a course. We scroll back up. Let's go ahead and click on partial interests and taxable now our partial interest and taxable leaseholds page has loaded. Let's go ahead and scroll down and find an offering of this course that we would like to take. You can see there are several opportunities here, but let's go ahead and register for the offering of this as a seminar at the spring conference. Remember, it'll say spring conference or the name of the uh, conference here and seminar and then the name of the conference and exam. So be sure to keep an eye out for that when you're registering. Let's register for the seminar. Go ahead and put your mouse right here over the top of this and you'll see a little shopping cart appears. Click on that shopping cart and a message pops up here at the top saying that it has been added to our cart. And you can see, just like you were shopping on Amazon, there's now a one up here in our shopping cart. So let's go ahead and click on that shopping cart and see what comes up. And right there, Spring Conference Seminar, Partial Interest and Taxable Leaseholds, $360. This is something that's very fun. There's opportunities here for other things that you may like or be interested in that are going on in addition to the Taxable Leaseholds course. You can see the 2020 Spring Conference Luncheon. That's the recognition luncheon that we always host the CIAO Association Luncheon, and Valuing Property Before, During, and After Redevelopment. This is a new Sunday plenary session that will be offered Sunday afternoon of Spring Conference. Attendees going to that will receive three hours of CE credit. So let's go ahead and add some of these to our cart. Just like before, the page will load with the information about that particular offering or course. Just like before, hit the shopping cart. And you go back up, you see now it says two items, and you can see taxable leaseholds and our Sunday plenary session at the Spring Conference is now also in the cart. So the same thing would happen if you were to add the IPA recognition luncheon and the CIAO association luncheon uh, to your card as well. Let's go ahead now and proceed to secure checkout. Once here, again, these are the items that are in your cart, the course and the Sunday plenary session. As you scroll down, all of your information will be populated in here, your name, uh, phone number, email address, and your uh, street address, city, etc. If you scroll down, if you're going to pay with a credit card, that's where you would do this here. It's checked by default, pay with card. And you can type in your card information there, Visa, MasterCard, Discover, or American Express. This coupon right here, if you were to have a scholarship through the IPAI, uh, we would give you a coupon code that you would enter right here. 
Uh, but let's go ahead and just get by that right now. So let's decide to pay by invoice because Bodhi wants to turn this in to his jurisdiction for payment. You can see it's reminding you to make sure that everything with a red asterisk up here is populated in, and it is. So let's go ahead now and hit place order. And right here, it says, thank you for your order. Now an email copy of this has been sent to Bodie McBoatface's email address. Uh, you can also print a copy of the invoice right here. And you can see up here it says confirmation with a green check to let you know you have successfully registered for this course and method of payment invoice has been generated for you. So let's take a moment and come over here to the left and let's go to your learning center. In the learning center right here underneath current you're going to be able to see the things that Bodhi is currently registered for. Again, the partial interest in taxable leaseholds course and our new Sunday afternoon spring conference plenary session is going to be listed here as well. So you'll be able to easily see as you register for courses, everything you registered for is right here. And as we mentioned before, um, completed items would be here. If you're taking an exam course, the results of that exam would be listed here underneath of submissions. Let's go ahead and if you come over here to the right, you'll be able to see a drop down arrow where it says unenroll. If you had something come up and you need to unenroll from this course, you can click that there and unenroll from it. Right here, there is a reminder that uh, pending payment, which means you still have an open invoice on this course that needs to be paid. And also right here, the blue confirmation that you are enrolled in the course. Go ahead and click on the name of the course here. And it's going to bring this screen up. You can see the start and end date, the time zone. All of our courses are in Illinois, so it's always going to say America slash Chicago. The uh, location details and the instructor, Beyonce Carter. So uh, that's exciting. Bodie McBoatface is going to have Beyonce as, a, uh, as an instructor. Very cool. Uh, additional information uh, and some of the same information is over here. You can see, again, number of credits. An easy button if you need to contact the IPIA registrar. If you signed up for this course and you're thinking through, I, I can't remember exactly what this course is about. If you hit this view button right here, it brings up the course description. And also, again, a link right here that takes you to the spring conference, in this case, spring conference page on the IPIA website, where you can find all the hotel information and agenda for the conference. Down here at the bottom, you're gonna click return to learning and it's going to take you back to this page on the Learning Center. Now next, if you need a, maybe you lost that email or you lost the printed copy of your invoice that, uh, that you had, no problem at all, come over here to the right and click on your profile and settings. When that comes up, you're going to click on Account. Once there, you're going to go to My Orders. And right there, you can see transaction ID. This is your invoice um, for those courses we just registered for. You click on that and you can print this off again and, uh, and submit it. Come back over here to account. And you can see your wish list we talked about at the beginning of this video is right here. Click on that and you can see that Bodhi added this to his wish list, assessment of oil and coal. Comments, want to take this, three exclamation points. So still very excited to take it. Um, if Bodhi ever changes his mind and wants to remove it from his wish list, he can do so right here. So that is how you register for a course and process through payment and also how you add something to your wish list. Thank you again for stopping by and viewing this uh, latest video on how to use the IPAI student portal.